we don't promote, pr promote positive and, 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 and ownership of your company, I, I'm making it cool to be, to be smart. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy, Hood's Billionaire. Welcome to Hood's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. It's cool to be smart. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about, man, is Diddy snitching? Man, a lot of people getting locked up. A lot of CEOs stepping down. Um, we're going to be discussing that Mike Jeffries, the former CEO of Amber Crombie and Fitch, Fitch, getting hit with sex trafficking charges. This is a crazy story. <laughs> Let's talk about this, man. It's all coming down, man. Cat Williams said it. It's all coming down. So Jeffries, he was hit with charges that were announced by the Department of Justice, along with his partner, Matthew Smith and James Jacobson. So they had it was a whole crew of them. And they had a little ring going on. Okay. Each of them got hit with sex trafficking charges um, and engaging in interstate prostitution. So this is what the um, this is what they alleging. So the feds alleging that between 2008 and March 2015, Jeffrey Smith and Jacobson coerce young men into attending sex events they would they they pretty much coerce the men into thinking that uh being a part of the sex events would help with modeling opportunities and if they didn't attend the sex events that it would hurt their modeling opportunities in the future okay so this is this is what the guys are thinking they thinking like oh okay which that's crazy to me that in itself that is still crazy to me how does somebody coerce you into a male on male sex event event for modeling opportunities you can just say no how about that you know what i mean now nah, if they were drugging him i'm doing them just like i'm doing diddy if they were drugging him if they were drugging the guys which they actually were injecting them with some substances but not to like drug them to knock them out but if they were drugging the guys if they were you know what i'm saying and they didn't know what was going on and blacked out and got trafficked like that okay i understand that um you know they beat beat them up or put a gun in their head something like that i get that bro ain't no man coercing no man and then doing no nothing against they will i that's just how i feel about that but that's pretty much what they were saying what happened now jacobson okay um the guy james jacobson he required the candidates to engage in sex acts with him first so he pretty much would tr would try the guys out first and then i guess if they was good he would go ahead and fly them out okay prosecutors also state that jeffries and smith directed others to inject the models with a prescription grade erection producing substance so they will also inject them with a substance that uh produces erections in men right so hey like cat williams said it's all coming out man you know the truth is coming out a lot of people trying to tie this to diddy like is diddy snitching because he going down for sex trafficking charges is he, is he snitching is he one of the guys snitching on on this guy you never know you know what i mean you never know in this type of situation i don't know could be but they probably been investigating this guy this is just something that they cracking down on now you know what i mean they cracking down on the heavy prostitution and all of that type of stuff they 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 you know you gotta crack down so they cracking down on that and that's pretty much what's going on so i don't know if diddy snitching in this situation he could be he could not be i wouldn't put it past them but these guys were doing some crazy stuff man i mean they pretty much was running a sex uh, a homosexual sex trafficking ring that's pretty much what they were doing you know it's a sex trafficking ring for men where it looks like they pretty much were paying male prostitutes to go across state lines to have sex parties and from what i'm hearing with diddy that's pretty much he was doing the same thing except with men and women you see what i'm saying he was doing it with men and women so hey you know it is what it is man it's where i seen a what 50 said say something where he was being interviewed and he was saying i never went to them type of parties i never really been into that i mean i i guess i'm more what you would call just like a normal basic guy you know what i'm saying i feel that so much bro like i'm just a normal basic guy man like i don't all of this stuff has never been something that i felt 
like a sex party even with all women that just i that, you know me personally bro i'm not into like that swinger lifestyle or none of that bro i'm cool with just one woman bro like call that what you want to call that call that basic call that whatever like it's not that serious to me um but you know with these guys man a lot of money a lot of power man they they be trying different things man you know you're hearing a lot of these security guards come out these are uh, ex-security and all of these type of guys old ceos and stuff like that they starting to talk about stuff that they didn't seen in the industry you know singers you know jaguar right now whether some of this stuff be true or not true that is yet to be determined but you know when you got the feds building cases alleged and stuff then where there's smoke there's fire but you know it, they like they got diddy they got the mike jeffries guy i mean it is what it is it's probably more guys they they getting the epsteins and the weinsteins and all of these guys man they not just finna just be letting them just go crazy like that and and, and just operate you know within the lines of the or outside of the lines of the law like that now you know we gonna see how this go man a attorney didn't you know pretty much make any statements didn't say anything about the situation i guess we got to figure it out but is if diddy snitching like people think that diddy could possibly could be telling because of all of the ceos that stepped down um that were running the different record labels and then for you know this guy to get hit with a charge like that like hey is diddy letting stuff be known you know what was going on um i believe he possibly it, it's very possible if you think diddy like if you look at them parties man diddy was partying with all of them guys man all of them top guys they were at diddy parties all of them it wasn't just the celebrities that we know it wasn't just the people that we know it was the people that we don't know too like i wouldn't know what mike jeffries looked like before this i wouldn't know who the, how that man looked you know what i mean all of them guys was at these parties man that's hollywood they've been saying this for years they call it hollywood for a reason they call it hollywood for a reason man it's it's a reason for this like this stuff been going on they've been doing stuff like this so it's just all crumbling down now so if diddy gotta tell on a couple people in order to get his time cut in order to get out i definitely believe he would do that you know what i mean too much power too many resources them guys don't matter to him like that it ain't that big a, he ain't he don't care nothing about that and diddy ain't never proclaimed to be no street guy so it don't matter if he snitch or not like so it is what it is i mean we'll see though i mean you, it's gonna discovery will come out if that's the case but you know diddy rich he might not never have to uh get it it might never get unsealed if he did tell so Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. It's cool to be smart. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.